Touch technology is really nothing new to our readers. Uh, it's, it's very common from your ATM machines to your iPads to your cell phones. Touch technology is here. This technology allows multiple users to work on the same platform. This console that I'm standing in front of here, each one of these is an application that could be run either by multiple individuals. In this case, we have uh, literally nine applications running. Uh, they happen to be videos that you could watch and interact with, or you could have nine individuals on a flat bed, putting this flat, standing around it. Each one can interact with this simultaneously and independently of each other. We have the opportunity here to see that no matter which angle you look at this display from, everything is perfectly clear and has a nice warm analog feel while still remaining high definition. Uh, have you provided the sensors or the entire system mm -hmm. or you know, has the thing been designed totally by your mm -hmm. company or have there other been mm -hmm. other fingers in the pie as they say? Yeah, as I mentioned we have a product that is fully integrated and everything you see is, is at, 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 at least being assembled by us. We are not an electronics manufacturer, so most of the electronic components come from third parties, but we assemble this hardware, this hardware together. Mm -hmm. and, and we obviously provide the software platform as well. And, and uh, our technology is very unique. Um, so we, you talked about sensors, and, and yes, we do have sensors, but it is a little bit different than, than what touch displays have been in the past. Um, in the past, we talked about resistive and capacitive displays, where the touch itself is, is the main component. Our technology is based on the, 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 the really fine name for that is rear diffused infrared. But what it means in, in, in practicality is, is, is that we have infrared cameras behind the displays that can see what's happening on the surface of the glass. And that is a key for us to be able to support unlimited touch points, for example, uh -huh. so that unlimited number of people can work on the same display at the same time we can see them all, we create a computer model of each object that we can see on the display and, and we feed that, feed that information to the applications and applications can obviously do whatever they want with the information. So we, are, we don't use traditional sensors, we use computer vision, but basically that's, that's all, everything is included in the technology. So would you say that the infrared cameras inside the system, that's the heart of the, uh, the matter? Mm -hmm. And uh, then well, after that would be the software? Well, I would, say there are, I would say there are two kind of main elements where I, our intellectual property lies. Um, first of all, uh, creating a computer vision software is not easy. Um, the, the, the software that we use has been developed over a period of over eight years. Wow. So we can not only track the objects on the screen, but we can also determine what is the object. For, for example, regarding a hand, there's a palm, there's a number of fingers attached to that, and what the hand is actually doing. And we, we can do that with our software. The second part of, of our IP is, is on the hardware. Um, we are using LCD displays. And this display is really the same as, the, as what is there on consumer TVs. And the trick with the LCD is that if you look at the standard LCD TV, the way it works is, is that it filters all the light to the surface, surface of the panel. Which means that how we can see through that if it filters all the light. And that's another part, a major part of our IP, that we are still able to see what's on the other side of the panel, even though the technology itself pretty much prevents us doing so. I would say that it's only a matter of time uh, when these home displays will become touch-enabled. Mm -hmm. You already have iPads that are used as a remote controller for these, yeah. but maybe the iPad is not enough. Maybe you, you have a, a game that you want to play with your, on your TV that is more touch, actually, uh, sensitive than, than, you, than whatever you have as a, sure. as, as a game controller. Here's an example of choosing a phone using a touch interface. Uh, based on the search criteria that the user sets, there are two phones and putting two objects together, he gets a comparison table. So that's how easy it is with a touch display to create and to compare products. This is the world's largest restaurant equipped with touch displays and every single wall, every single table, it's touch enabled. And today it's more entertainment, but I would say that it is going to be in the future, it, it, it will be entertainment still, oh, yeah. but also uh, more business applications. 
and especially collaborative business applications where multiple people people can work on the same project at the same time. So that that's what I, I, I definitely see happening in the future. I, I could see big applications in the medical field, the healthcare yeah. as well. And as a matter of fact, now that you talked about medical, here's an application that I want to show you. Uh, this is uh, an application that they have in a Swedish medical university where the students can practice autopsies using virtual bodies. And, and the main thing here is obviously that, that multiple people can again work on the same project at the same time. So not only this is informational, using touch it's much closer to the real world, that re real world than using a mouse, but the thing is here that they have to interact, they have to collaborate as a group and that is probably the most efficient way to educate students, not only at the university level, this can be early education as well. Sure. We are going to provide the official 2011 CES Twitter wall um, at the north lobby of the, of the Las Vegas North Convention Center, mm -hmm. which means that there's a huge wall where people can actually uh, interact with the wall and get the tweets related to CES. But one last thing, I still want to mess up my desktop. And it's fun, too. <laughs>